In today's holotape, we are going to be making the competitors to Nuka-Cola. Why? Starting with Sunset Sarsaparilla. Yeehaw. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. Essentially, it's going to be root beer, but we're going to have some cream soda to it to make it more creamy. The most important ingredient is uh, pure cane sugar and sarsaparilla, or sassafras. Mix all these ingredients together, then use the funnel to pour the mixture into a root beer bottle. Top off the drink with extra carbonated water as needed. Then use the capper to apply a Blue Star Sunset Sarsaparilla cap onto the bottle, because why not? Carefully apply the Sunset Sarsaparilla labels onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel blender and any measuring cups. It tastes like root beer, but also just really sweet. I think the sarsaparilla makes it taste better. Pretty good. Sunset sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla makes it taste better. Homemade sarsaparilla. Like sunset sarsaparilla, but worse. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. Fill the large pot with water and the turnip. Use the stovetop to boil the filled pot until the turnip is soft. Then remove the cooked turnip from the pot. Smush the turnip and blend it and mix it with the other ingredients all together. It's made of nevada agave fruit and xander root, so we'll be using real world substitutes, i.e. agave and turnip. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a root beer bottle. Then top off the drink with extra water as needed. Then use the capper to apply a Sunset Sarsaparilla cap onto the bottle. Then carefully apply the Sunset Sarsaparilla labels onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel blender and any measuring cups. Oh, you can definitely smell the turtle. That's almost all I can taste. It's turnip. Ugh. Turnip is gross. Homemade sarsaparilla. Turnip. Them. They did it first, but we don't care. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. Vim's recipe is well known because they can't keep a secret worth of crap. It's made of cola syrup, blackberries, uh, corn syrup, and uh, that's basically it. Mix them together. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a red hook bottle. Top off the drink with extra carbonated water as needed. Then use the capper to apply a Vim cap onto the bottle. Then carefully apply the Vim label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel blender and measure in cups. really good. I think this one tastes the most like Coca-Cola out of all the things. It's really good. Vim. Out of all the drinks. Vim Refresh. Apple juice for big kids. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. Essentially, it's all the ingredients of Vim, but making room for apple and melon flavors. Mix all the ingredients together. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a Red Hook bottle, the green one. Top off the drink with extra carbonated water as needed. Then use the capper to apply a Vim Refresh cap onto the bottle. Carefully apply the Vim Refresh label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel blender and the measuring cups. It's just like Vim except fruitier. Oh, that's nice. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Vim Refresh. That's nice. Vim Quartz. Patent infringement. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. 
it's essentially a different version of Vim, but instead of using cola, it uses fountain syrup to make it somewhat translucent and additionally has carrot and bubblegum flavors. Again, Vim, nice secret recipe. Mix them all together. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a Red Hook bottle, the white one. Top off the drink with extra tonic water as needed. Then use the capper to apply a Vim Quartz cap onto the bottle. Then carefully apply the Vim Quartz label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel blender in any measuring cups. It mostly tastes bubblegum. And it's really sweet. I can't taste the carrot at all. That's actually pretty good. Vim Quartz. Mostly tastes bubblegum. Vim Captain's Blend. Main flavored soda. <laughs> That's rid ridiculous. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. Fill the large pot with water, the lobster, and the fiddlehead greens. Then use the stovetop to boil the filled pot until the food is soft. Then remove the cooked lobster and fiddlehead greens from the pot. Then smush the food and blend it and mix all of the ingredients together. It's like Vim, but it has fiddlehead green and lobster flavor added to it. Green beans can be used in a pinch because fiddlehead greens are expensive. Use the funnels to pour the mixture into a Red Hook bottle, the blue or dark one. Top off the drink with extra tonic water as needed. Then use the capper to apply a Vim Captain's Blend cap onto the bottle. Then carefully apply the Vim Captain's Blend label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel, blender, and any measuring cups. Again. Vim Captain's Blend. That's gross. So there you have it. The competitors of Nuka-Cola. Sunset Sarsaparilla, Homemade Sarsaparilla, Vim, Vim Refresh, Vim Quartz, and Vim Captain's Blend. Next time, we'll be making some cola foods.